This is Translating American, the vlog, a multimedia space where cultures and languages converge in the American tapestry. Meet Marisol Ruiz, a Puerto Rican immigrant. Marisol translates the American culture through her talent as a young artist. Enjoy this special unveiling of one of her colorful and ethnic oil paintings featuring Vera's works. Marisol Ruiz is with me today. So I have known Marisol since she's basically a teenager. And I used to, um, as part of my communication translation uh, life, I used to also sub at Mesquite High School when I used to live in Mesquite. And uh, for the Spanish classes, for the um, AP, right? That was Heritage also an yeah. AP Spanish. I, uh, I, have, I got to know Marisol, first of all, because um, I remember when I was um, uh, taking the roster for the kids, uh, I usually would see the main, main uh, most of them were um, native Spanish speakers. And Marisol was one of the ones in the heritage class, but she also was the assistant of the, of uh, Mrs. Escobar. <laughs> so... And uh, and then what I was curious is that we were both in Texas and we were we were both in Texas and most of the kids there were from either uh, Central America or Mexico mainly. So to know somebody from Puerto Rico, which is close to the Dominican Republic, was always a treat. And Marisol was from Puerto Rico. But what was unique about Marisol was that she was also uh, studying her uh, endeavors as a painter. Um, and I remember that. She became friends with my son Jonathan, and that was cute too because it was kind of like somebody that we can we can talk outside um, the school. But what was remarkable about Marisol is that she um, was a painter, and she got to do uh, this amazing painting of uh, at the time our superintendent, um, Dr. Linda Henry, and it was just remarkable. And actually, that painting is hanging on the middle school that that bears the name of Dr. Henry. So anyway, there's so many things about Marisol, but I want to let her introduce yourself and then I'm going to tell you why we're having this little um, video that I am so proud of. Go ahead Marisol, who are you, where are you from and what are you doing and why are we here today? <laughs> Go ahead. So I'm Marisol Ruiz. Um, I am 23 years old. I am a MICA alum. So MICA stands for Maryland Institute College of Art and I studied painting and humanistic studies. Um, I grew up in Puerto Rico, but I went to high school in Texas, and right now I'm in Maryland. Yes. Now, uh, you were in, you were in high school in Texas, which is so different from Puerto Rico. Now, I, one of the things that I knew as I was watching you um, grow through high school is that you were doing all this painting, and I remember you actually painted Jonathan, and it was just like remarkable. You were doing all kinds of your classmates where you kind of like your uh, models, right, at the time. Yeah. And then you... You realized and everybody realized around you that you were born to be an artist. So I want you to tell us briefly about that journey and how did you became a MICA uh, alum from Texas and how did you made it all the way in the challenges briefly about going into arts because, you know, usually everybody expects you to go into traditional careers where you can make, you know, a lot of money, but you followed your passion. And then we talk about what happened and why we're here again. Go ahead, Marisol. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so I fell in love with art in like kindergarten, um, and then I started watching Bob Ross, and I started copying his paintings as he was painting on TV, and then eventually I went to a middle school in Puerto Rico that was specialized in all the fine arts, so I was specialized in visual arts, and then I went to Texas, and I realized that things were different there, things were more academic focused, more STEM. Um, and arts weren't funded as much as they were in Puerto Rico. So I, in the first couple of years of high school, I was very focused on academics. I was still draw and paint, but it wasn't something that I was extremely focused on. But then as I got to my senior year, I realized that all I wanted to do was art. And it was just something that I was connecting to from childhood as something that I did all the time growing up in Puerto Rico. And um, I decided to just apply to a bunch of art schools and also state schools and see what happened. And MICA was the last school that I had applied to. I applied to very late and 
Um, they ended up giving me the most scholarship and they're actually seventh in the country of like best art schools. So I just came to Maryland and I studied. Um, I went in for illustration because I was focused on the money aspect of art because some, some majors are, you're guaranteed a job sometimes like graphic design, things like that. But then I took an introduction to painting class and I realized that all I wanted to do was paint because I had never painted with oil paint before. And something about the scent, the way that the brush hit the canvas, because oil is just like butter and it's just oh. smooth. And then it's also, it takes time to make an oil painting. So the fact that it was something intimate between me and the painting spending all this time and seeing its progress oh. was just very rewarding. And that's something that I continued with and I still love. Okay, well, that's where we come in. So while um, Marisol was leaving, well, she was going actually to uh, the university. She came one summer. And um, I really have a lot of admiration for Marisol because I know that she has a beautiful personal story. We're not going to go into that. I think when she writes her book, she can tell us all about it. <laughs> but right now, so it was very, um, as an immigrant, as you, I mean, we're all immigrants and, and we come here and we, we realize how it's different from our culture and uh, being Caribbean, so communal. So there's a lot of challenges, uh, with families and with the culture, friends. So anyway, to, her story is very inspiring. But then she come one summer and she said that she wanted to, to uh, paint my family. And I was just so excited. Of course, uh, I have at the time, my son was also, you know, her age and my daughter. So I have a, a lot of passion to help students make it through because I myself have a non-traditional student who went to school later on for some circumstances in my life. So I, I admire um, all the students that strive to put themselves through school. But it's just, it's, it's a, those are the stories that really move. And uh, of course, it's great when a person has all the support from the family in everything, in every way. That's great. I wish I had that. But some of those didn't have that. So that's why I have passion. But anyway, the thing is that I wanted to support her and she came and she painted my family. That's a huge painting that I haven't displayed yet because I uh, recently moved and I want to put it in a feature place, but it, it was one of your first things that you were doing. And I love that. So it's huge and I still had to open it and have a frame. <laughs> but anyway, so Marisol graduates and I have seen her, what? She's pouring in all her painting. She has her own style and personality and what she just described, but oil paintings for her or what she's doing it transpire and it's reflected in what she does. So I follow her on Instagram and I've been seeing it. Oh my goodness, she's just growing. So there comes, I, I am a communicator, I'm a translator, and I try to upgrade my um, brand. And again, so I, I reached out to Marisol and said, Marisol, I want you to commit, I commissioned a painting for her. So now I sent her some pictures uh, and I wanted just to her to pour out, you know, uh, what she sees in me, of course. And if you look around me, all I love is red and I love colors. <laughs> I'm Caribbean. So, and then she did my painting. She's been showing me everything she was doing. And I was just like dying. Then she sent it to me finally, but I went to, I was traveling and I didn't want to open it without her here because I want her to talk about it, to tell you the name. And I have a painting right here in a big box. So I'm going to go down to the floor and I told Marisol, I didn't want to open it without her being here and seeing me with my opening this picture. Well, well I saw her open the box, but this is a big box. <laughs> and this is me opening the painting. So... All of us seeing this, I'm going to be tacking a lot of people from a skit, and I hope Marisol can tag her school. This is me as Marisol sees me. Wow. Okay, so. Oh, my. <laughs> this is me. Marisol, or, you know. I mean, oh, and this is how she saw me from a picture that I sent her. And if you want to see the mic, I wanted to have it right behind me. This is this mic. I am a communicator, if you can tell. <laughs> a translator and words and communication is all I, I love. But also, look, Marisol, start telling me, what do you see? What is the art? What is the medium? Is oil. And yes. what is all this? This 
Yeah. So when I think of Jado and when I have reconnected <laughs> with you, um, you had told me that you had recently moved and I immediately wanted to make something that would connect you to Florida. And every time that I think of you, I think of the beach and the ocean. Yes. So in the background, um, as a frame, I wanted to have the ocean. Um, in this case, it would be like a sunset. So there's the water and then the sun at the top. And then yes. something that you had, when we first started talking about my paintings um, and what you liked about them, yeah. you love the railings. Yes. So I wanted to make sure to include that because I love making them as a frame. So I wanted to make them purple just because it's something that I feel that it's just a beautiful like color. Remember um, at least... home in purple and house in Nesky was purple. We yes. love purple. So yes. you brought it in. <laughs> yes. And I wanted to include tiles as the background just because we're both from Caribbean countries. And a lot of the reasons why I paint tiles is because of the Spanish history. And when you go to the Caribbean, that's all you see. You see these tiles that are extremely elaborate, handmade. And, you know, that's, I wanted to include some of like our homes in there. And also to include you, and I wanted to make sure that I painted you in red because I, I could just see you in like this red Look. like shirt and also to connect with the with the microphone and the sides are green just to kind of um, put everything together essentially. Because the, in the railings will always remind me of our colonial homes down in our Caribbean. But I also wanted to show something that for me is the most, she sent me a picture, remember? And I saw the picture, but this is a necklace that my daughter got me on my 50th birthday. Yeah, I'm revealing my age, it's okay. I'm very proud of it. And it's a little diamond that my daughter gave me, Sarah, saying that, mom, I want you to have your own sparkle because you're always, you know, so cheerful and everybody. So I love this. And this to me just is remarkable, the details of your picture. Well, anyway, Marisol. I am so in awe, and I want you to tell you, when I see this picture, I see a lot of my uh, heritage in my family. Uh, one of the stories in my family from my mother's side is that we had a Taino uh, great-great-grandmother. So some of so the stories they gave us. And when I see this, I see a lot of that pictures that come out of the uh, Caribbean women that we are. We are a mix so many uh, races, Spanish, Afri African, Taino. We have everything in our in our roots. So I see a lot of that. And it just, I mean, oh, thank you, Marisol. So this is what I wanted because I wanted to send this, um, put it on my Instagram and, and my social media, but I wanted to have you unveiling it with me. Thank you for capturing me. This is a, an honor for me to have you. And I will make sure that uh, anybody who wants to get in touch with you uh, can uh, follow you also. Or I'm going to tag you so everybody can follow you, Marisol. And anybody seeing this that wants to know who she is and support the art, just get in touch with me and I get, it, get you in touch with Marisol. I am so proud of you, my entire family. I wish you the best in all your endeavors. And do you want to say something else to close? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm incredibly grateful. It's always a pleasure to make art, but especially for you because you've been somebody that has supported me <laughs> since day one, since you met me. Beautiful. So it's Another. beautiful to get to make a painting first of your family, but then also now seeing the change of how my techniques have evolved. And even though it takes longer now, but <laughs> I am incredibly grateful. Art takes time. I think art is like birthing. Uh, well, I'm a mom, so it's like birthing a child and you nurture it. And that's why you don't rush. You don't rush genius.